Brooklyn Independent Television. The not-for-profit sector is bigger than you might think. According to the National Center for Charitable Statistics, America has more than one and a half million nonprofit organizations. Thousands of them are based right here in Brooklyn. And in these tough times, they are sorely needed. Despite that, people have to rely on on-the-job training to learn how to create and run a nonprofit. My guest's goal is to change all that. He is Jonathan Bissell, Director of Adult and Continuing Education at Megar Evers College. Welcome, Jonathan. Well, thank you so much for having me on today. So tell us about the new nonprofit certificate program. What's it all about, and how did the idea come about? I was approached by one of our instructors uh, who had an idea for a nonprofit law class. And she, uh, she and I talked at length about the, the environment for nonprofits in New York City and in Brooklyn. And so we, we formed a class uh, called Nonprofit Law. And we had a lot of interest uh, in the class. But what we discovered through the process was that a lot of people were really more interested in the nuts and bolts of how to operate a nonprofit. Um, they understood that there was a need to focus on the legal aspects, but they really wanted to know, how do I, once I get it up and running, how do I maintain this? What do I do? Um, how do I position myself? And so the idea for the certificate program was born out of that. And uh, what are some of the courses that uh, are going to be part of this certificate program? Some of the courses would include starting a nonprofit, which would include, um, you know, filing the tax um, areas, um, and really how do you set up a board? Um, a lot of basic issues that a lot of basic areas that need to be um, thought through before you even launch. Uh, the next would be running a nonprofit, which really relates to the governance of the organization. Uh, another area is going to be uh, public relations and marketing of the program, uh, of the nonprofit. Um, how do you position yourself for success? Uh, another area will be project evaluation, which is how do you hold yourself accountable, not only to potential funders, but to the people that you're serving and to uh, the citizens of the area. Um, another um, area is going to be writing a business plan. How do you plan for sustainable um, growth? And then finally, um, there will be courses and workshops in corporate sponsorship and grant writing. Um, those are t kind of two uh, fundamental areas of um, building for the future. And um, are there any sort of uh, recommended qualifications that one needs to have before they enroll in a program like this? For this program, we're really looking to tap into the need that's already there. So we want people who are thinking about starting a nonprofit. We want people who are running nonprofits. We want people who have been um, doing it for a long time to come back and take refresher courses. Uh, the certificate program uh, is divided up into different sections. And people will be able to take just the sections that are relevant for them. Or if they're really just getting started, they can take the entire program. Tell me also, um, uh, is, is Medgar Evers going to partner with other uh, uh, organizations in the borough to sort of bring in expertise uh, for some of these courses? Yeah, we're actually looking to uh, bring in a number of, of guest speakers. Uh -huh. And, uh, you know, I understand that you've been heading a nonprofit, um, Opportunities for a Better Tomorrow, for some time. And I'd like to publicly invite you to come and, and speak um, to our students. We can talk about it. <laughs> Uh, so we're, we're really looking to uh, collaborate with the community, with the nonprofit community, uh, to invite them into this process. And part of our goal is, after we launch the first time, is to evaluate ourselves and to hold ourselves accountable and say, how well did we do in meeting the needs of the people who came to us? And this is scheduled to launch in the fall, correct? That's correct, in October. And um, how many courses do you anticipate uh, starting with? Six different courses. Six different courses um, in, a, in all of those areas that you were sort of mentioning. That's before. correct. And tell me also, uh, I know since as director of the Adult and Continu Continuing Education Department, uh, there are other programs that, that uh, uh, you offer. Can you talk a little bit about some of those other programs? Sure. Um, we offer bookkeeping and accounting, advanced construction management. Uh, we have a partnership with uh, Turner School of Construction. Uh, we offer KSAC, which is a credentialing program for substance abuse counselors. We offer medical billing and coding. Um, we offer um, a number of education uh, programs. Um, 
and we offer um, you know Cisco CCNA. It's, it really runs the gamut of everything that an adult learner looking to get back into the workforce or to develop um, further in their career would need to um, to really advance themselves. And are most of these uh, certificate programs as well? Yes. Okay, yes. So they lead to a credential That's that correct. someone could put on their resume and, That's correct. and sort of carry with them. Um, and do we also have um, do they have opportunities to sort of matriculate and, and then take degree-based programs also in Medgar Evers after they complete some of these certificate programs? We're really, it's on a case-by-case case basis depending on um, the area, but we're looking to develop a partnership with the Public Administration Department uh, in the area of nonprofits. You know, a lot of people who are in the nonprofit um, field are not looking to go back to school full-time. They, they're already extremely busy, so we're really looking to in a sense, come to them and supplement the areas of training that they need. But certainly we would encourage them to move into the college, into higher education, if that was a need of theirs. I, I really um, like the idea of sort of doing some refresher courses for um, existing nonprofit professionals. I think that that's a great idea, especially in the, sort of the areas of, of fundraising and development, because the world is changing. Uh, so, for example, uh, social networking is becoming a big part of of development and fundraising. So, can you talk a little bit about um, you know some of the some of the courses you may have for for people like me who who could use some refreshers? Okay, um, you know this environment now has been described as a new normal, and it's really um, the environment of funding has changed, but it's all about the basics. It's about governance and it's about positioning. For more established nonprofits, um, you know, and individuals like yourself who are running those uh, for many years, it, it doesn't hurt to go back and say, how well are we aligning ourselves with the goal, the goals of our sponsors? Yes, we're carrying out these activities, we have specific outcomes, but how well are we um, really um, articulating that to our sponsors. And so a lot of it is just repositioning because the, the sponsors and the fundraisers change as well. They're not static. And so each organization needs to think through, yes, I'm carrying on the same activities as I did the other day, but how well am I rearticulating and positioning myself? Sort of the world has changed, so how do I change as well? But but maintain my mission as as well. Exactly. Well, Jonathan, thank you so much. We're excited to hear about this program, and uh, I wish you good luck with it. Thank you so much. Brooklyn Independent Television on the BCAT TV Network.